So the problem is that most people think because you get old, you're supposed to be injured. Because you're an athlete, injuries are part of the game. Accidents happen. Helmet to the to the knee, stepping on somebody's foot and playing basketball, hyperextending your leg. Injuries do not happen, people. Uh, another problem is people think that they have or ha are working with a professional who works with a professional team. There were 30-plus ACL tears without contact in the NFL alone last year. And so because you work with the Chiefs sports science doctor or some physical therapist that helps professional players mean shit, not a damn thing. Nine out of ten athletes that I've come in contact with have no idea what their knee actually is, how it exactly works, and that it should never move when squatting, nor that their back should not move or how their hips are supposed to exactly function. Education is the key, and education, the lack of education is the problem. So if you're following the injury for your account, first and foremost, thank you. Um, second, you've hopefully tried some of the things and they've helped. Um, and if you have questions, please continue to ask. We're going to keep updating and finding ways to make sure that the message is clear um, so that you can protect yourself and stay forever better and injury free uh, for as long as you live. Whether you're an overweight individual, which I've helped, 267-pound um, woman, not too much left in her knees, um, some back issues, and she lost 100 pounds, and I had nothing to do with her weight loss, just helped keep her living and alive. You get text messages um, about her going on canoeing trips, or doing color runs, things that she didn't think she was ever going to be able to do again because she was in such a bad place. Injury-wise, 60-year-old men coming off a of labrum um, and rotator cuff surgeries, no more pain, no more problems. Um, and then we work with a lot of professionals as, as well. So again, injuries do not happen. They are created, which means they can be prevented. The question is, is what do you know about your body exactly? Your shoulder people, you don't press out here. Everybody does that. We've all seen people do that. I was a victim of it until one night I couldn't raise my arm. There is an origin to every problem that is created. If you've ever seen the movie Concussion, um, then you understand asking questions and solving problems are how we change things, or how things, or, or they, that's how things do change. And when you stop asking questions and doing what's being done and you continue to follow the, the status quo or what everybody else is doing, problems continue um, to be created and the so-called solutions manage the problem. But like I said before, injuries, they don't just happen, um, accidents happen, which means, again, injuries can be prevented. We all know a guy in the gym uh, who uh, hurt his shoulder, he sits out two weeks, come back, does the same thing. and. He's back in the same place he started. Injury, pain, he's suffering. Um, what we did specifically was study injury and study people that have injury um, or have pain that prohibits them from moving specific ways. If you don't know what prohibit means, it just means doesn't allow them to do specific moves because the pain is greater than the ability to move. Um, and we came to the frightening conclusion that others still haven't figured out. If a person with a problem cannot move, the person in pain cannot move this way, then why, why would you do it when you don't have pain? And the dumbest thing that a lot of people do is, l let me just lighten up the weight. You think because you lighten up the weight that the problem won't continue to exist or get worse? If you still move the exact wrong way, light or heavy, it's only going to get worse. And of course, you know, the heavier you are, the easier it is for you to determine um, how bad the problem is or it's easier to get to the place of, of injury, um, of course, with, of course, you know, versus with, with lighter weight. So, goal with this, this injury free account, the goal with creating all the stuff that we're slowly but surely working on, and I won't say slowly because we, we, we've done it all, we just have to package it in a way that it gets to you so that you can save and protect yourself and the ones you love and continue to improve your quality of life is to make sure that we constantly ask questions, meaning keep asking questions, and that we constantly continue to improve and not just do. A lot of people are doing, very few people are actually improving. And that's the, 
that, that takes us back to the circle of injury. And what that means is a lot of people, you know, visit the surgeon, then they go to the physical therapist, they go to a chiropractor to manage the problem or pain, and then somebody says you need to get some strength, so they go to a gym, and by the time they get back to um, moving a little bit, they're injured again, so they're back at the surgeon. So people are constantly in a state of injury um, slash care versus solving a problem. This content is going to help define health from an ergonomic standpoint, simply meaning moving. So for those wondering, preventing is progressing. You can always and forever be injury free. Accidents happen. I can't control accidents, but your shoulders should not hurt. You just need to know how it works. Your knees should not hurt. You just need to know how they work. Your back should never hurt. You just need to know how it works. Muscles protect bones. Muscles move bones. Muscles stabilize joints. Joints allow movement. If a joint becomes a mover, it no longer works. You no longer function. Hinge on a door. Let's the door swing back and forth. If there was no hinge, the door wouldn't work. The door would just be there. AKA when you tear an ACL, what's the leg doing? It's dangling. Why? Because a ligament connects a bone to a bone. You just need to be informed. Hopefully this helps. Again, if you have questions, please email info at th thinkfit365 or tcochran at thinkfit365 um, and, and let us know what you need, what you're interested in, what your problem is, and how we can better help um, yourself and the ones you love so you can keep moving. Thank you.